Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wildflowers. I am designer slash gamer. I did that backwards. And today we're playing Wildflowers. How's it going? Okay, so here's what I did off camera, you guys. I added... I added another candle making thing because we need to make more candles. I was realizing we have like tons of candle wax and stuff. Beeswax. And we need more... We need more bandwidth. Oh, I like that word. We need more bandwidth to make more candles. And I dyed some fabric because we can sell that to... Do we, can we make more? No. I think we can dye more though. I... I... Uh, I'm dyeing fabric because we can sell that to uh, the Hawaiian guy in town. I can't remember his name all of a sudden. <laughs> anyway. And I also planted some strawberries so that we could do the quest for... Um, well, not really a quest, but so we can hang out with grief, the grief counseling people. Can I add the speedy potion? Wait, did I brew one? I'm trying to speed up the strawberries so we can make the berry smoothies and, oh yeah, I think I brewed one. Yes, I did. Okay, let's brew another one. Yeah. Okay. And then I also want to try and figure out if we can make the seasons change to fall, because I think we're probably about due, I would think, for fall. Yay! Okay, cool. Because I figured out what the last thing was to build here. I saw a thumbnail and there was a greenhouse right here in the thumbnail. And I was like, oh, that must be the next thing we can build. But um, I looked it up and apparently you can't, you don't get the quest to build the greenhouse, the potting shed or whatever it is, uh, conservatory thingy until winter time. So we need to, we need to make it winter time. I planted a bunch of new things. And I planted our lime tree right there. So yeah, things are going well on the farm. And it's 5.30 p.m. So I've already taken care of our animals and I've gotten milk from the cows and taken care of the chickens. Yeah, so things have been moving smoothly. Um, I'm trying to think what else I wanted to do today. Oh yeah, you guys, tonight. Tonight, we're going to go do this. Because I've already... Wait, did I make that yet? Oh, I didn't make it yet. Okay, let's do this. I thought I had made it. Which one is it? Speed time spell. Yeah, didn't I make it? Summon small things, speed boost, summon night spell. Wait, I'm so confused. Which one was it? Oh yeah, speed time incantation. This one, what am I missing? Oh, I sold my topaz. <laughs> oh, that's why. I was like, I know I can make this. I sold my topaz, but it's okay because we can buy more topaz. Oh, but now he's closed. Okay, we'll go to the mine and we'll get some topaz. I can't remember what level topaz is on though. That's what you get for selling things. See, I never want to sell stuff <laughs> because the moment, hi Natalia. Let's say hi to her. The moment I sell something, Eva seems I... busy already, but nobody's too busy for new friends, right? This morning, I dropped off a basket of pastries by her door, fresh from Angus's bakery. I hope she takes the hint and stops by my workshop. <laughs> oh, I wonder if Natalia likes Giva. <laughs> okay, they'd make a cute couple. Why don't we go? Shoot, where is Topaz? Maybe it's in fourteen. If it's here, it's gonna be in, it's gonna be in like, oof. Will it be in these rocks? Dang it, Brandon. I wish I wouldn't have sold my topaz. No, don't. Okay, well, I, I do wanna make glass, you guys. That was the other thing I wanted to do. We can make a glass kiln in Tara's little shed and we'll see if we can make some glass. I think we have all this stuff we need. Okay, that's a sapphire. Hopefully we can find Topaz. I think we just need one. I can't believe I sold it. Oh. I'm never selling anything ever again, you guys, ever. I don't care if we need money. I'm not selling anything. The good thing is though, because I sold it to him, uh, now we can buy Topaz. <laughs> so we don't have to try and find it in the mine. Oh, maybe it's a different level. Let's go a level lower. See if we can find Topaz one level down. I don't think it comes out of the regular rocks. I could be wrong, but I think it only comes out of those special rocks. 
Yeah, let's try going down to level 13, maybe. Dang it, I wanted to go tonight to talk to the witches. Oh, well. Worst case scenario, we'll go make a glass kiln for our shed. We'll start making some glass. And then tomorrow, we'll deal with... Hopefully, he's open tomorrow. Francis. No topaz. Just these silly sapphires. I thought sapphires are red. Oh, wait, no, I'm thinking of rubies. <laughs> rubies are red. Oh. I feel like they should be called blafires, though, because, you know, blue, ruby, red, red, ruby, blue, blafire. It would be easier to remember that they're blue. Blafires. <laughs> the things you talk about when mining. Okay, I'm not happy about this. We don't know where Topaz is. We have no idea. So we're going to go home. We're going to work on our little tool shed. Get our glass kiln in there. And then we'll deal with the witches tomorrow. It's already 10.40 p.m. All right. Come on, Tara. Run, 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 run. Hi, kitty, kitty. Hi, kitty, kitty. I think I already gave the kitty some love today. All right. Let's go to our shed and let's make some glass kilns. Because I think I have everything I need. Right? Maybe. Yes. Okay, we'll just do one for now because I don't know. We'll put it in the middle of the room. Because I don't know that how many we can make. I guess we make one at a time. That's fine. Glass is useful building resource. You can craft out of fine sand. Okay. Sand can be collected. Okay, but what do I do with the glass? Do I make stuff with it? Hey, the candles are ready. Yes, we got to make another one. Because look at this. We have 11, 11 candles. I mean, 11 beeswax. I don't know if we needed two then. <laughs> it's fine. Okay. Let's go to sleep. And then... Should I go to bed? Yes. Tomorrow, we'll go and buy some topaz from our friend Francis. We gotta do our daily chores, though, you guys. Um, Let's go ahead and keep this going. Oh, and thank you for the comment. One of you guys told me that I should be distilling silver and stuff. But I've already made everything into bars. So I guess we're not doing that today. <laughs> All right. What am I doing here? Oh, I can make some more dye. All right, cool. Yeah, I've been making the purple dye because I think you can sell the purple for more. I think you can sell the purple for more when you dye the fabric. Okay, let's check on our stuff in here. Our glass is probably done. What can we do with glass? Is there like a glass? There's a glass kiln. Paper press, loom, juice press, metalworking table. I wonder if we can do something with glass at the metalworking table. Interesting. We can buy gold bricks. I just realized we can buy gold bricks from Francis, you guys. Let's make another one. All right, cool. And is this done? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, let's take care of our morning chores. We're going to go and feed the animals first. Good morning, ladies. I've been making all kinds of omelets with these eggs. It's great. The eggs are a nice resource. Okay, no love today. Gave you love yesterday. I want more chickens, but I also don't want to have to feed six chickens every day and give them love. Like six times. Oh, dang it. No, didn't mean to do that. Oh, well. Okay, this one. All right, good job, Tara. Now let's see, can we get milk every day? Oh, we can. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Okay, let's do the other cows. Oh, can we sh can we shear the sheepy? We can. <laughs> so funny. I don't know why I find that funny, but I do. Okay, so there's a big content update coming for this game, you guys, on the 23rd of December, so just in a few days. I don't know, there's, I do know, actually, I read about the update. There's a lot of stuff added. Well, I don't know about a lot, but there's some stuff added, so that's cool. We'll have to check it out when it, when it comes out. There's like a romance update, and they're, they're adding to the story. Of course, we're not even at the end of the story yet, so 
Okay, cool. Good job, Buttercup. All right, animals are done. We still have our speed walking spell going. Let's go ahead and water our plants. We got tomatoes going, we got corn. And then I think some sugar cane maybe? Oh no, not that one, Tara. Oh, so inefficient. Oh, and now we're out of water. Fantastic. All right, I wish we could build a well. Maybe we can build a well over there. Oh, but I also want to upgrade our watering can because if we buy a couple of gold bars from Francis, we can upgrade our watering can. Okay, and then we'll do this one. Did we get that third one? Is that already watered? Oh, that's a tree. Okay, that's why. Yeah, if we upgrade our watering can, we'll have, I don't know, if we can water more at a time, maybe. Or just hold more water. I'm not sure. Probably both. We should do that, you guys. Because we do a lot of watering. Okay, okay, let's go to Francis. Hopefully he's open today. It's Friday, so he might not be open. Oh, I'm going to cry if he's not open. Well, I won't cry, but I, I might, like, choke up a little bit on my words. Oh, good, he's open. Hey, Francis. Good morning. Okay, we would like a topaz. And I want a gold ingot, because I want to go upgrade our watering can. Let's buy a few of them. I don't know how many we need to upgrade the watering can. It's a lot. Maybe we could upgrade a few of our things. Thanks, Francis. Okay, Natalia, hi. I would love to upgrade some tools, please. How many do we need? I can't upgrade my watering can? We need 12 gold bars to upgrade to the golden axe? What does the golden pickaxe do? You can use it to break all the rocks and boulders. Okay, I kind of want to do that. Let's go buy some more gold bars. If it doesn't bankrupt us, it might. Princess, hi. Um, oh my gosh. So we need how many more? We have five. We need seven more, right? Yeah. Now do we have twelve? We have twelve. Okay. Oh wait, it also costs money. Dang it. Okay. We're not upgrading our pickaxe right now. That's fine. However, we could sell some stuff, you guys. Let's go sell some stuff. We might get enough money then. I think it was like 3,000. There we go. Hey, look, it's Giva. Hi, Giva. All right. Let's sell the candles. And then should I sell the wool or should I make cloth? No, I'm going to make cloth with it. I do want to sell this, though. These two. Oh, look at that. So it doesn't really matter what color you dye stuff. Blue has the same, you get the same price for purple as you do for blue, it looks like. All right, I wanna dye those before I sell them. Cause you do get a little bit more for dyed cloth. And we should be efficient. Let's say hi to Kai. Whoa, whoa, Tara, I didn't see you there. I, I was just uh, napping on the was job. Was he sleeping? I call it being one with the moment. It's just super warm and cozy under the tent. Dude, you're allowed to sleep. It's your little business. Let's talk to Giva. Hi, Giva. That summer festival was so lovely, and you were the perfect summertide star. Of course, I might be slightly biased since you helped me move here. <laughs> I like her. Okay, Cameron's always hanging out in here with his wife. It's a perfect day, messenger. What's got you down? Oh, um, I just got a text from an old friend of mine. Uh, Tammy played my sister on the sitcom I starred in as a kid. She booked a role in the next big superhero movie. <laughs> I'm happy for her, but sometimes I wonder what would have happened if I'd stayed in Hollywood. Would that be me? He was in Hollywood? What? I don't remember that. Is that a new tidbit of information? What? No, you don't want to stay in Hollywood. I mean, we look at these lives of these celebrities and we think, oh... Having all that money and having all these people adore you must be so amazing. But then you see what most of them become in their lives and you're like, I, I, I will pass. Thanks. <laughs> you know, this whole idea that money can bring you happiness. I mean, yes, it can make life easier and bring you conveniences. But it this can, year can I had to set a s'more limit for the kids. 
Last summer, Finn fashioned a three-pronged marshmallow roasting stick out of some branches and twine. Ah, he is an efficient engineer. I like it. <laughs> that kid is really too much like his dad sometimes. He's going to Hollywood. All right, let's sell some stuff to her. Up. Oh, I'm worried about selling things. I need stuff. Okay, well, I have 47 tomatoes, you guys. I think I can sell a few. Let's sell her, like, 20. Okay, we're not anywhere near the money we need. Uh, sugar cane, I can just buy sugar. It is also kind of fun to make it, though. Eh, I don't know. I'm going to keep some of the grapes. I'll just sell things we have a lot of, like pomegranate. I don't think we can even cook anything with pomegranates. We'll keep a few. No, just kidding. We have a tree. We can get them if we need them. Oh, do we need them for the fruit smoothie? I don't know. I'm going to keep a few because <laughs> we might need them for the fruit smoothie. We have how many lemons? 21 lemons. Okay, then let's sell 16 lemons. Maybe that's the whole idea, you guys. Just hang on to some things. Sell and just make sure you have at least a few if you need something. Look at that. We have enough money to upgrade. What time is it? Bye, Lena. Okay, we got time. I don't know why I want the upgraded pickaxe so bad. It just seems great. I don't know. How do we access the lowest level of the mine? Because I feel like maybe gold will be on the lowest level of the mine, you guys. Craft. Yay! Golden pickaxe. I feel like gold would be on the lowest level of the mine, but I could be wrong. Well, no, I couldn't. It's got to be there because it's not on any other level. Let's go in the mine and just see what this new pickaxe is like. And then tonight we'll go... Wait, 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 wait. We have to craft that. We have to craft the incantation. I don't know if it takes time. No, it should be, should, it should be like craftable right away, right? Okay. Ooh. Hopefully we don't need one more, more, than, more than one bar of topaz. Is this it? This is it, right? Yeah. We got it. Okay. So tonight we will go to the witches. And let's just check on the in the mines really quick. Oh, we're out of our magic bar, you guys. We gotta throw some stuff in the magic pot. Okay, let's go to the lowest level. So what does that mean unless you smash all the rocks? Wow, it is way more efficient, isn't it? Only have to hit things once. And it's fast, too. Did you guys see her? Look at that. Like, right away. No delay at all. And yeah, hardly any stamina at all gets used. Maybe that means I can smash those giant rocks, like the huge rocks that are on the farm. I don't know. There's no rock blocking our next level of the mine. It's a, it's a key that... Who knows when I'll get it. I checked that note again and it said I will unlock whenever I'm ready or something like that. So I don't know what we do about that. If you guys know how we get to the lowest level of the mine, let me know. Maybe it ha maybe it happens in December or in winter time or something. Not sure. Not sure. This is great. Look how much stamina like we could go forever in here. And it's so fast. Yeah, I love this new pickaxe. The next step we'll have to do is upgrade the the shovel. But I also want... Or not the shovel, the, the axe. But I want to upgrade the watering can. I just don't remember how to do that. I think you can upgrade it. Seems like it. Yeah, let me know if you guys know in the comment section how to upgrade the watering can. I would like to know. All right, 6 p.m. We got some time. We'll head out if you're around 7. Just want to see if anything happens. Maybe someone will come unlock the, mine, the door for us. <laughs> Who knows? We'll go check the note again, because maybe now that we have a gold pickaxe, things have changed. Who knows? Gosh, stamina for days, Terra. We have so much coal. I wonder if we should just make some ink and sell it. Because we do need ink for incantations. But we use so little of it. And we get so much of it from mining. Maybe it's worth selling. Okay, we got to get out of here, you guys. Let's check this now and see if it says anything different. Ooh, 
fancy door. There's a note on it. I have the key to this door. I will return it when the time is right. <laughs> okay. So we don't have the ability to open that yet. Who knows when that'll happen. But we have a gold pickaxe, you guys. I am very happy about our gold pickaxe. All right, let's head to the witch's domain. The Witchwood Forest. Hi, kitty. And then we're gonna... We're gonna keep advancing the story. Sorry, my mouse pointer is really in the way. There we go. Out of the way. Ooh, mushroom. Oh, look, 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 flowers. Hey, it's Juliet. Or Julia? Juliet? I would say talk to her. We don't have a lot of time, you guys. We're in a rush. Okay, let's talk to her. Hi. Cameron's influence troubles me. More and more people attend his services, which means he'll persuade them to believe that there are malcontents out to do harm to the community. Are you sure? More information. Novice, Acolyte, the time has come for both of you to learn shapeshifting. How do you feel about a feline spy mission? <laughs> <laughs> yes! I, I reacted the going. same way. I like it. Feline spy mission? We'll learn how to turn into cats and then sneak oh. into the consciousness center. I remember I seeing something about this. Close. Every witch learns from Ariel how to shapeshift themselves into animals, but they must wait until they're old enough not to, get to be a kitty such cat. power. I trust both of you to treat your animal hosts with kindness. Uh, what if I get stuck as a cat? <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Ariel will let you get stuck as a cat, I promise. Parker's mentioned more and more talk of rooting out the malcontents, and Cameron yes. has been scribbling in this tiny little notebook of his. We need to know what it says. Visit Ravenwood Hollow for a transmogrification lesson. Then see if you can find an open door at the center to sneak through. This might be going too far. We could just get intel by attending this week's service. All of us showing up together? That would be too suspicious. Besides, we need that notebook. Hey, I'm not bothered by this. As long as we don't get caught. Oh my gosh. Speak to Ariel to learn how to shapeshift. Shapeshift? Wait, Ariel? Who's... Who's Ariel? Ariel. <laughs> I hear... Oh, is that one of the... In that other little village? We should throw some stuff in here, you guys. Let's put some apples in. I should throw mushrooms in because I have a million of them. Okay, wait. Who is Ariel? Oh, that's right. Okay, so in the little village. Okay, we'll go talk to Ariel. It's too late to do it tonight, but we'll go talk to Ariel tomorrow. We got to shapeshift before we end the episode, you guys. We have to. Come on. If I mean, if as long as we have the stuff to do it. <laughs> Let's go home. Go to bed. Go talk to Ariel. I don't know what time. Oh, hi. We'll say hi to her. Congrats. Julia. On what? You're not the newest person on the island anymore. So you don't have to worry about the twins messing with you. Oh, I hope that person? Mr. Emerson guy is ready. Who? Who is she talking about? She's talking about the werewolf guy? I haven't talked to her in a while, so maybe that's old dialogue. Okay, before we go to bed, let's just make sure... Let's do all of our little chores here. Wait. We can do a blue. Okay. Let's spin some more fabric. And then let's make some more candles. Look at us doing chores. Okay, and then the silk is done. Then can we spin silk fabric? Yeah. Okay, 
Good, look at us. All right, that's good. That's everything we can do. Wait, did I make a new candle yet? No. Okay, that's working, that's working. Oh, we should make new silk too. Yep, okay. We don't need any paper, everything else is good. All right, let's go to bed, you guys. Should I go? Sure. Okay, so quickly we will go and talk to Ariel and see how to shapeshift. And walk around town as the kitty cat. I can't wait. All right, let's go talk to Ariel. Oh no, our speed spell wore off. Oh, please tell me we have some more. <gasps> we don't. Speed time spell. Okay, we can make some probably. Oh my gosh, it's crazy how slow she walks. <laughs> okay, let's make more of this. Uh, We'll do... I haven't needed revitalizing potions in a while, but this is always helpful. Okay, where's our speed? There it is, speed boost. We'll just craft, we always need these. Craft five. All right, Tara, use that speed boost. The time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make, make me fast. fast. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to Ariel. Good morning, everybody. Oh, I'll take care of, oh, fine, 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 ladies. I know you're hungry, we'll take care of you. All right, let's get the eggs. Feed this chicken. We'll do the cows later because they they got they got their breakfast. They eat the hay. We can do the milk later though. Okay, you're welcome. All right, let's go to the little town. Okay, where is Ariel? There's the werewolf guy. There he is. No, that's that's the lady. Uh, where? There he is. Yes. Hey, buddy. So, you are to learn how to walk a mile in a cat's paws, are you? Yes. <laughs> Finally. Oh, I've there's Violet. Violet's here with us. <laughs> we got our kitty cat I here. I don't usually say this, but patience. Don't forget respect for the creatures allowing you to use their corporeal forms. What? I, I thought we were going to learn how to transform into cat form. Don't be yeah. ridiculous. No one can do that. But we can't let the animals if we can ride along in their bodies for a while. Exactly. Gray Malkin and Cleocatra here are experienced with ride along. Cleocatra. Wait, that's oh, my cat's name? Course, Did I know that? Cleocatra? Violet, it's time for you to ask permission. Gray Malkin, you are the noblest of felines. I would be grateful to walk with you. Is this some sort of joke? A, a, a hazing ritual or something? Tara, Friends, you're embarrassing yourself. Please excuse the manners of our newest member. Her speciesism is brought on by ignorance rather than malice. Now, I can sense the thoughts of our fine friends with gills and feathers and fur. But what makes you unique, dear witches, is that you can share their consciousness. Tara? Cleocatra must know she can trust you. Oh, okay. Cleocatra. Uh, Cleocatra, can I, um, walk with you? She that said, means yes. Of course. Now, take these shape-shifting incantations. You'll need to cast them on your chosen cat. What? Cast the animal shape on your familiar. It's your cat. Sandwiches. It worked. <laughs> I'm a cat. Not just any cat, but you're familiar. And she sees so much more than humans. Now off with you. Do your skulking. We need to head to the consciousness center. We've got to find out what's been happening there. Wait. What? You sound normal. That's wild. <laughs> I wish her little so mouths were moving. But we got a scamper. There's no time to waste. Scamper? Okay. <laughs> and look how fast we are. Come on, Violet. Can't you keep up? Come on, Violet. What are you doing? Go faster. I can run circles around you, you silly lady. <laughs> All right, so we're heading to the... I love this so much. <laughs> we're heading to the consciousness center. Come on, Violet. <laughs> 
Can we go in here? A cat is bonkers, but come on, no <laughs> it's, it's bonkers. I want to visit the whole town as a cat. I want to go everywhere in every shop, do everything from now on. I want to live my life as a cat I know being a cat is bonkers, but come on, no dawdling. Okay, I'm sorry. Gosh. Oh, here it is, the consciousness center. It's go time. We need to be totally silent. If they catch us in here, they might think we're just mousers keeping the center clean. Ew. But they're not going to turn a blind eye if we start spouting the queen's freaking English. Cat's cut my tongue. Got it. <laughs> the queen's English. Notebook, notebook. Hmm. I wonder where it is. At them. Look around the consciousness center for Cameron's notebook. <laughs> Can I bite their ankles? Is this it? Ah, here it is. And the presence of malcontent seems to be on the rise in our fair town. He is it's talking they about malcontents. who spread the pagan beliefs we saw at the summer festival. Whatever they may call themselves, their purpose is clear. To sow chaos and keep you from your true potential. That's Dude, your alive. wife. Who is that? Find them. Huh? A disembodied voice. It has to be witches. Oh, I mean, a uh, uh, malcontent. <gasps> Thomas Graham. <laughs> what? Ooh, Cleo Gatra is fast. That run barely took any effort. Glad you enjoyed it, because I think the incantation is about to wear off. No. No, no. I want to stay kitty forever. Man, human senses are nothing compared to cat senses. <laughs> Duh. I know, right? Thank you, Gray Malkin. You're the best, Cleo Catra. Meow. Meow. Now, let's take what? a look at this journal. <sighs> we have a heck of a report to make to the coven at the next meeting. That's for sure. Yeah. Speak to High Priestess and tell her what you uncovered at the Consciousness Center. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow, you guys. That's crazy. Okay, we can't do that right now. So guess what, you guys? We're going to save that for the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please hit the like button if you did. And I... We'll see. Oh, and also subscribe if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay. Bye, everybody.